In this quick video, I'm going to show you a really handy WordPress plugin that I use often uh, to replace images on my website. So in this example, I have a client logo. I have the old logo here that is currently on the website here and the client has created a slightly new logo that you'll see here. It's still a circle and everything, but it's just got some clearer text and she wants me to replace it on the website. And so if I just replace the logo here, then that logo uh, might be appearing in multiple places throughout the website. And if I just replace it in one location, it means that I'm still going to have to go through and replace it in all the other locations. And this, you know, would happen quite often if you were replacing, say, um, a blog post image or something or potentially you know you've used this image in multiple places on the website and rather than having to go onto each page and replace it individually you could just swap it out in one go and that's what I'm going to show you how to do with this nifty little plugin. So uh, you just need to go to plugins add new it's a free plugin we're going to install and just start typing in enable media replace and you'll have um, a bunch of plugins come up and this is the one that you'll want to install so I've already installed it and activated it so that's why it says this here but you'll you'll get the install now button so you'll just click on that and it's this enable media replace by short pixel and so once installed what you can do is just go to your media library find the image in your media library that you want to replace so I'm just going to search for the logo and here it is so I'll click on that and then you'll get this new option here that says that you can upload a new file. So we'll just click on that one. And from this screen, this is where you can replace the old file with the new one. So I'm just going to upload the file from my computer. Um, so we've got it here. We've got, it's not 100% square, but it's pretty much there. So it's not really gonna make any difference. So that should be fine. Um, and here we're going to go just replace the file. Most of the time I want to replace the file. Um, and this means that this, uh, what it says here is this option requires you to upload the same, a file of the same type, for instance, a PNG. It's got to be swapping a PNG for a PNG or a JPEG for a JPEG. Um, otherwise it's just not going to work. The name of the attachment will stay the same. So at the moment we have this, this um, image is called gr-logo.png and it doesn't matter what this file is named. It's just going to replace it. So that way it's going to link up and you're not going to get these broken image links. So this is most of the time, this is the option that I use. There is another option here, but I find that can then break things. So I don't tend to do that. And the other option I like to do is go replace the date. And that way I just know that this is the latest file that I've uploaded. So I'll do that now, click upload. Okay, so that's all replaced now. So when I go to the website, I'm just gonna hit refresh. And I might just have to hit refresh a few times in order for the new image to show. Uh, you might also have to clear caches. Um, that's now showing just with a refresh. I just click shift and then the refresh button and it all refreshed and it was fine. Uh, if it's still not showing, you might have to clear any cache, caching plugins and stuff you have on your site in order to see the new image. Uh, but that's all replaced there now. And now the only thing that you'll need to do is just double check that it's replaced in anywhere else that logo might have um, been. But in this instance, I think that was the only place it was. I will go through and double check just in case, but it should have replaced it throughout the entire website, which is awesome. So that's the handy little tool, uh, a plugin called Enable Media Replace, uh, and it's by Short Pixel. So you can add that to your website if you ever need it.